If you have an existing solar power system and you've experienced a blackout because your solar panel shut down when the utility service shuts down, then you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to show you how we can add battery backup for emergency power to your existing solar power system without having to change anything on the roof. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their house set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And we accomplish that in most cases using solar power with battery storage system, and in some cases with generator backup as well. Now, the reason I'm doing the video today is uh, if you're an existing solar homeowner or you've been through the experience of having your solar panel shut down when utility power goes out and you're interested in looking at a way that you can add battery backup power to your solar system, that's what today's video is about. And the technique that we use to do that is called AC coupling. Now, all that means is that the connection between your existing solar panel system and the new battery backup system happens at the AC side of the system, at the AC circuit breaker panel. So let's walk through it. You have your existing solar panels, could be on the roof or could be on the ground. And then on that system, you're either gonna have microinverters, where you have a small device underneath each solar panel to convert the DC power to AC power, or you may have a central inverter that converts for the entire system here at ground level. But then that output from the inverter is typically gonna be delivered directly into your main uh, service panel, where any of the circuits in the house can directly consume that electricity. And then once the needs of the house are fully met, all the excess gets pushed back out to the utility grid via the net metering process. So that's how a typical grid tied only solar power system is installed. Now, if you wanna add battery backup to your solar system, all the work can be done at ground level and I'll explain how it works. What we would do is take the output from your existing grid tie inverter system and instead of sending it straight to your main panel, we would deliver it to what's called a critical loads panel, or sometimes it's called an emergency panel. But basically, all of the circuits in your house that will be connected for secure battery backup power will actually move them from your main panel to the new critical loads panel. And we'll deliver your grid tie solar into the critical loads panel. We will also connect your battery backup inverter which it could be an integrated where the battery and the inverter is in one appliance, like the Tesla Powerwall, for example. Or like in this example here, using the Outback Radian, you have the inverter and then you have a separate battery rack where the batteries are stored. The output power for your battery hybrid inverter will also be delivered to your critical loads panel. And then on the utility side, your hybrid inverter is gonna have a, a separate utility connection which you can connect to your main panel or to your main service. Now here's kind of where the, where the magic happens with AC coupling. Built into your hybrid inverter is an automatic transfer switch. So on a normal day, your battery backup inverter is just, is just gonna be passing utility power straight through into your critical loads panel, or if the solar is producing more, it'll pass the solar power back through to be sold back to the grid. But if utility service goes dead, internally it'll activate its transfer switch, start pulling from the batteries, inverting, and it will send its own signal, the battery inverter will send its own signal into the critical loads panel. Now what that does is it tricks, it tricks your grid tie inverter system into thinking that it is the power grid, right? As long as they see voltage there and they see a, a good stable signal there, your grid tie solar system doesn't know whether that signal is coming from the battery inverter or coming from the utility grid itself. All it knows is that the connection is back up, which means they can reactivate and continue to supply power into the system. Now, if the solar panels are producing more energy than what the house needs and what the batteries needs to be recharged, the hybrid inverter will throw a frequency shift which basically it just simulates a slight instability in the grid, which activates the rapid shutdown on your grid tie system to temporarily turn off the solar power to prevent the batteries from being overcharged. 
Now, what many of our clients choose to do also is to integrate a generator backup with the battery hybrid inverter. And that's especially important in the winter time because if you end up in a grid down situation where the solar panels aren't producing, you're starting to drain down your batteries faster than the solar can keep up. With the generator backup, you have an additional option to fire up the generator for a few hours, charge your batteries back up full, and then you can switch for running for a couple more days off of battery power. So that way, whether it's day or night, rain or shine, no matter what season of the year, your home is never gonna be without power. Now, if you're interested in seeing if you can get a setup like this for your home, whether you're starting from scratch or if you're an existing solar homeowner that's interested in getting the battery backup added onto the system, go ahead and reach out to us. There should be a link to the website below or you can uh, hit us on social media or even just send a comment into this video and uh, we'll do our best to help you get set up with secure power. As always folks, if you're getting good value from the information that's on the channel here, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and more importantly, make sure you share this link directly with anybody else that you think will benefit from the information here. I thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.